This commenter says, I can't even get myself to start voice training. It overwhelms me every time I try. Hi, I'm Renee. I'm a gender affirming voice teacher. And I think at this time of year, it's super common to feel a lot of pressure to make these great strides in your transition goals. And your voice might be a part of that. Usually I'm out here trying to come up with ways to motivate you or make creating a voice practice easier, but today I wanted to remind you that your mental health comes first. If now is not the right time for you to work on your voice or you tried a number of times and you're not getting anywhere, I am giving you permission to put the work down completely for as long as you need. I say completely because sometimes I tell students that they need a break in order to move forward and they tell me, oh, I already haven't practiced for X number of weeks or X number of months. But if you've been feeling guilty about not practicing that entire time, then you haven't really taken a break at all. A real break is a time in your life when practice is not on your radar at all. Sometimes that's exactly what we need in order to come back feeling refreshed with a full well in order to take on the challenges that are ahead. And I know that voice dysphoria may be contributing to some mental health challenges that you may be having, but rest is as important as the work when it comes to any kind of practice, but especially a voice practice. If this resonated with you, make sure to give me a follow so that you can receive more trans voice tips on your timeline. And I hope this helps.